Hey what's going on guys, it's the Psionic Beluga here and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. This week we are continuing in our journey to save up 600 bookmarks for hopefully a repeat of the Diane Limited banner. I really need the character so I'm gonna save up for that. Every day I'm just doing all my dailies and collecting the monthly pack crystals with the occasional shop rolling. The Vagrant Merchant in the Labyrinth is also a part of my routine that I check every day. If you guys want to know where the Vagrant Merchant I visit every day, it's in the very first Labyrinth quest. And it's right here. And if usually I just check and I can yield. Because I don't want to use up the compasses in order to check the merchant every day. So last week we had our specialty change quest for Lorena, giving a solid DPS for us to use on every mission. This week Hazel is about to get hit by Purity <laughs> really hard as this is the specialty change for Hazel into Mascot Hazel. This quest should basically be called Be Careful Who You Call in middle, Ugly in Middle School cause god damn. For this quest you have to defeat 500 mysterious magic experiment subjects, get 6 mysterious flash catalysts, and the longest part of this mission is clearing 150 hunts. The first and second missions were fairly easy because of the Tamarine side story mission farming stage where both the mysterious magical subjects were in the stage so I get to farm that along with the event currency and the stage itself also drops Flash Catalyst and you can also buy Flash Catalyst using the event currency while also grinding experience for the fodders. Too bad someone didn't want to be a part of my team. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I promise someday I'll get over it. And that day is when I pull her. Okay, now that we are done with every mission, it's time to do the trial battle. It's done. It's time to finally get Mascot Hazel. Ooh. Oof, you definitely won the 10 year challenge. So for the third skill, it received a buff of giving a fire elemental hero greater attack on their skill if they're the initial target. Now I think the change to the look of Hazel might be the biggest buff in my opinion because the skill change is a little bit disappointing because it's more niche. I'm not a fan of niche, I like a little bit more flexibility on classes especially healers. And since in the skill description it did not specify that the attack buff will affect the hero with the strongest attack, which is also a negative if that's truly the case. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more Epic 7 and other gaming content. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.